Leaves fall off from trees every day. These leaves fall to the ground. Over time, you would expect them to pile up, wouldn't you? Yet, where is the thick pile of leaves? Where have they all gone? Let's find out what has happened to them. Leaves that have just fallen off trees and onto the ground are often brown. Look, they still keep their shape. But not these leaves at the bottom layer. See how different they look? The leaves from the bottom layer are in bits and pieces. They are damp and not dry like this leaf here. Why are the leaves broken up like this? Well, it's because animals have fed on them. Animals that eat such leaves include wood lice, millipedes, beetle larvae and earthworms. By feeding on the dead leaves, the animals help to reduce the amount of dead leaves on the ground. Fallen leaves are also fed on by another group of organisms called bacteria. Bacteria are very tiny organisms. They are so tiny that you can't see them with the naked eye. You can see them only under a microscope. This is what some of them look like. When the bacteria feed on the dead leaves, they break them down into simple substances. Some of these simple substances are mineral salts, water and carbon dioxide. The mineral salts become part of the soil. These mineral salts make the soil fertile. Plants take in these mineral salts as nutrients so that they can grow strong and healthy. The process of dead matter breaking down into simple substances is called decomposition or decay. As bacteria can bring about decomposition, we call them decomposers. Look at this tree trunk. Much of it has already been eaten by termites. In a year or so, it will not be there anymore. Termites help to speed up the process of decomposition. Otherwise, it will take fungi, which are another group of decomposers, a long time to break down a trunk like this completely. mushrooms are fungi. What you're looking at now is the bracket fungi. Fungi are non-green plants. They cannot produce food by photosynthesis. So they feed on dead plant matter. Sometimes you can find them growing on a fallen tree trunk. Fungi feed on the trunk and cause it to decompose. Fungi take in only the amount of nutrients that they need. The remaining nutrients are returned to the soil. This log looks hard and solid, doesn't it? But in time, it will break up and it will be just like this fallen tree trunk. See how easily it crumbles? Much of it has already decayed. Fungi do not only grow on dead tree trunks. You can also find them growing on dead leaves. The dead leaves provide nutrients for the mushrooms to grow. 
Do you know that you can also find fungi in your home? If you leave a piece of damp bread in the open for a few days, you'll soon find mold growing on it. Mold is a kind of fungi. It feeds on the bread and causes it to decompose. So far, we have learned that dead plant matter, such as fallen leaves and dead tree trunks, are decomposed by bacteria and fungi into simple substances like mineral salts, water, and carbon dioxide. What about animals? What do you think will happen to them when they die? And what will happen to the waste that they produce? Yes, decomposition will also take place. This dead fish, for example, will soon be decomposed by bacteria and fungi. Do you know how we can tell if a fish is decaying or not? Yes, by the very bad smell that comes from it. The smell that is produced is a sure sign of decay or decomposition. Have you ever seen a hole like this on the beach? If you come across one, you may find a dead fish inside. Crabs, such as this one here, could have dragged the dead fish into the hole to feed on it. Other animals, such as these sand hoppers, also feed on dead fish. They may look tiny, but sand hoppers usually work in large numbers and together they can clear up any dead fish on the beach. Without animals like these crabs and sand hoppers, dead fish on the beaches will not be broken down so quickly. Let's look again at how decomposition takes place. We've seen that dead matter, such as fallen leaves, animal waste and dead animals are decomposed by bacteria and fungi into mineral salts, water and carbon dioxide. The mineral salts are returned to the soil and used again as nutrients by plants so that they can grow strong and healthy. Carbon dioxide is released into the air. So you see, bacteria and fungi are important to living things. They are needed to clear up dead matter and provide nutrients for plants. <laughs>